Mbazi here once again. Um, today I want to teach you some few tips on how to play seven on the drums, especially on the snare drum. And uh, basically, seven is just single strokes, but you just alternate single strokes. And uh, to just break it down, and uh, I had I really had to study this, and uh, I re I came uh, to realize that. Uh, the first few patterns we have like the first patterns are triplets alternating triplets and then you have groups of four and then at the end which is also known as passage you play groups of five at the 32nd note beat and uh, basically seven is all about 16 notes you know 16 notes pattern but you just play ghost notes Then, so we have groups of three, which is alternating triplet, which is right, left, right, 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 left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. One, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, one. Beginning with the right hand and the left hand. So like. Is you accent on the first note, which is one, two, three, one, two, three, one triplet, two triplet, one triplet, two triplet. And then the second groups, uh, the second phrase is uh, consists of groups of four, which is. So the first one you accent on the very first note. So the first note becomes louder. And then the second one, you accent the first and the second note. So like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, and then you combine the two, uh, those groups of four, and sounds like, like that. So uh, combining the first and the second one, goes like again and then the last phrase which is passage you end uh, with groups of five which is you play at the 30 second note and then the last beat ends on the one in the next bar like so Five, one, two, four, five, like so. So combining everything now from the top goes like like that. So and then in this case now the bass drum will be playing the quarter notes. Three, four, and four, and here we go. Like that. And then uh, you can speed up that. But first of all, if you don't get that uh, concept at a very high tempo, let's say 115 or 120, it can be hard. Uh, especially playing the passage at the end. So I like it when the, the tempo is a bit slower where you can work on the control because everything uh, is based on control. You can be very fast but if you don't have control that cannot help you work out this phrase. So let's try again and then uh, gradually we increase the tempo slowly like this.
And then, um, for the left-handed drummers, I know this can be a bit tricky for the uh, uh, left-handed drummers, but it's everything that we've been playing now, the vice versa of it. So now you switch, now uh, for the right-handed drummers, the leading hand is the right hand. But now for the left hand, for the left-handed drummers is now the left hand. And uh, I'm gonna try this, though if I make any mistake, don't worry guys, but uh, I'm still working on my left hand, which is kinda tricky, but I'm like working on uh, the left hand at least to have much more control and uh, a lot of command. And then this is how it's gonna be. Let me try. So everything you start with the left hand and end with the left hand. Okay, let's try. That's it for the left-handed, and uh, I think that's it for the first uh, pattern on the snare drum seven, and uh, we have a lot of them. And then I'm gonna show you in the next video. Thank you, guys.